Hey everybody, I <clears throat> um, want to take a few moments to, uh, I, want to, I want to move the videos. I've been talking a lot about uh, taking your power back uh, or remaining in your power and I want to stay focused on that topic, but I want to move uh, slightly towards uh, the discussion of traumas. So the last couple of videos I made, I was talking about um, past, present, and uh, future and remaining in the now moment and how that's powerful. Um, I guess I'll start the, the topic of traumas um, and I'll talk about what, I, what I've realized in my life. I'll talk about traumatic thinking first or traumatic thinking patterns. And I'll give you a brief synopsis of this and then I think that everybody can you know, do their own work to figure out if it, if it resonates, if it correlates with things that you've experienced. Um, but anyway, I'll give you a scenario. I think a lot of times as humans, <clears throat> there are things, uh, if you've ever studied uh, epigenetics um, or family lineage, things that are passed down in a family, we know that, uh, that health problems, um, mental problems, physical problems, things like that, can be passed down in a family. Um, you've always heard, that's why when you go to the hospital and you have to give a report to a nurse or to a doctor and they, any family history of heart attacks, cancer, whatever, whatever the topic might be. Um, so we're, we're interested in that. We know in society that we're interested in the things that are handed down to us from previous generations and um, uh, that came before us. So traumatic thinking um, or traumas that you have actually never lived through can also be passed down in families. And what happens in, is those traumatic thinking patterns um, become a trauma in our life that we're living and thinking about, but we've never actually experienced that trauma. So for example, um, uh, a trauma, an epigenetic uh, traumatic thinking pattern could be passed down. Um, let's say, think of it like this, the Great Depression. There was a, a huge amount of people that suffered and had to deal with the uh, potential reality that we're going to run out. Our resources, our warmth, our roof over our head, our food um, is going to run out. And there's people that live through that and then all of us might know somebody that didn't live through that, but because they were closely associated to that generation or because your great, great, great grandmother or your great, great, great grandfather was so broke that they had to do X, Y, and Z to survive, you may actually still believe that. You may actually have somewhere in you that you believe that you're going to run out even though you yourself have actually never gone without. Uh, you may have fear of crowds or of like you're going to get into a fight or you may have anxiety, social anxiety, and nobody in a social environment has ever done anything to hurt you, to harm you, to shame you, or to cause trauma. But for some reason, you carry this instinctual anxiety that this is going to happen or it could happen and you're living in this traumatic uh, thinking pattern. Let's go back to the financial thing for a second. How many people were raised in a home where you know uh, money or the chance of money running out or you know I don't know how we're gonna make it or whatever statements may have been said to you as a child you may have never lived through them. You may have never actually gone without you may have never actually gone to bed hungry. You may have never actually slept outside without any cover and been freezing all night. But you have fear as if this is going to happen to you and it hasn't. So you see how there's different levels of trauma. There's traumatic thinking, things that could just be passed down. Maybe the way that your father treated you makes you think traumatically about X, Y, and Z, or maybe uh, uh, something that your grandparents used to talk about a lot, um, whether it be anything from politics to religion to uh, whatever it could have been. It may be, you may actually think traumatically in a way 
uh, about something that you never actually had a traumatic experience with or near or about, but yet you think traumatically about it. So I want to keep the video short because I have a lot I'm going to be sharing. So one type of trauma, and I would challenge everybody, examine your life. Think about the way that you do things. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of potential for you to learn a lot about yourself if you start to think about the way that you think and why you think that way. I have literally spent all of my adult life working and being super afraid that I wasn't going to be able to provide. I have, uh, as more of my story comes out and, and as I'm able to share more, you'll realize that there were times that uh, we were broke, but I was never without. So, and now to be in a position where I'm better off than I ever have been, why would traumatic thinking of it's going to run out or you're not going to be able to meet all these needs still exist there? That's one of the reasons why this came up for me and that I'm sharing this experience with you is check your thinking patterns. Check the things that you're allowing into your mental space, your inner space. Your, this isn't just physically your head, the temple of your head. Uh, this is your temple. What are you allowing into here? What thinking patterns are you allowing? And are they traumatic ones or are they truth-based thinking patterns? I've never gone without, so I shouldn't be afraid of going without. I trust that, that by the hard work of my hands and by the direction of God and source in my life that I'll always be taken care of and I won't accept anything else into that space. So anyway, uh, I'll be making more videos uh, hopefully tonight and getting more content out there about and talking about traumas and, and there's so much I could talk about, but I've got to stay focused and and, and try to keep it narrow on certain topics. So investigate your thinking. Are there things that you think about traumatically that you have never actually experienced? If so, retrain those neuro neurological pathways, retrain those thinking pathways. Take your power back and don't allow traumatic thinking into your life that has never actually manifested in any way, shape or form there is a great chance that everything will work out just awesome. You don't have to think about it negatively. Anyway, uh, next video coming up soon. All right, much love, guys.